correct me if I'm wrong, is August 2nd. No, you are wrong. Yeah, no, actually, you're right. Now August the- 2nd, which means we are 29 days away from Aztecs football. The 44th <sighs> annual KGB Sky Show, August 31st versus Weber State. And the man who will be under center for that football game, Ryan Agnew, joins us now on Extra 1360 Aztecs quarterback. Ryan, good morning. Good to talk to you. How are things? Uh, things are going well. Uh, thank you for having me. You got it, man. What about you? From from the time the season ended last year to where we are right now, the month month of August, weeks away from Aztecs football, did it fly by or has it been forever since you know you will be starting the season as the Aztecs starting quarterback? Uh, I mean, going through the process, it, it felt like it was forever. Uh, but now I'm here, it looked like it flew by. And, you know, you always kind of want some more time. But, you know, we're excited to get started with practice today and uh, we can't wait to get back on the field. How difficult was it for you to wait your turn uh, behind Christian Chapman and just to be on the sidelines and to wait for finally this opportunity? We know you played a lot last year, but to begin a season as a starter, how difficult is that? Um, it's always tough to wait your turn, uh, especially since you know everyone wants to get on the field, everyone wants to contribute, everyone wants to play. But um, you just have to be patient, um, put trust in the coaches, put trust in the program. And uh, when your numbers call, you just got to be ready to roll. And um, that's what I wanted to do. And you know, excited for this senior season going in with all my teammates that, you know, a lot of them have also waited their turn and, you know, we're going to take advantage of this year. Ryan, people define pressure differently. People deal with pressure differently, uh, differently especially in, in football terms. Some guys don't even notice it's there. Is there any added, the fact that you are the guy this year at quarterback? Um, you can't think about that. Um, a lot of people like to look at pressure and it's, you know, kind of put on you from outside sources. But uh, for me personally, um, I don't like to look at the pressure. I like to look at the guys around me and uh, know that we put in all the work. We put in the time. We have those bonds. We just get to go out there and, you know, have fun in front of a few thousand people. So we just uh, we enjoy it as much as we can. We don't think about, you know, things we can't control. Season tickets still available. Plenty of tickets available uh, game by game as well. GoAztecs.com, August 31st. The Aztecs get started. In fact, week one, Weber State and uh, UCLA there in Los Angeles. Week two is it gets set for a Pac-12 opponent as well. Ryan Agnew, quarterback with us on Extra 1360. Ryan, what is new about this offense? How much can you tell us about how different it could look from last year to this year? Um, it's going to look a little different. It's going to be dressed up. Uh... It's not going to be the same that you always see San Diego State football, but our philosophy is still going to stay the same. You know, we want to be a hard-nosed running football team. We want to, you know, be physical, and we we want to be dominant for four quarters. And, you know, if we're given the opportunity to throw the ball down the field, we want to take advantage, you know, as much as possible. So it's going to look a little different, but the philosophy is going to stay the same. Ryan, how is the the offensive line coming along? Rocky gets a twinkle in his eye. Excuse me, head coach Long gets a twinkle in his eye when he talks about maybe some of the new wrinkles with this offense, giving your offensive line just the ability to pin their ears back and go. How are they looking so far? Offensive line looks tremendous. We have uh, we have a lot of guys who played a lot of snaps last year. We have some seasoned veterans coming in from different schools. You know, some older guys with some great experience. So. I'm really excited to see them get out there. And, you know, with this new offense, we're going to spread it out a little more. So they don't have to worry about blocking eight or nine eight or nine guys. They can, you know, worry about five, six, or maybe even seven. So I think it's really going to open them up and uh, hopefully it makes them flourish. Ryan, what's unique about the Aztecs 6 football program? You know, we, we, we always like to say it. We say we're a blue-collar mentality, old-school mentality. And a lot of people don't really know what you mean when you say that because everyone's kind of in this new school, spread it out. Um, all finesse type, but we're, we're a grinded out football team. Uh, we know everything's not going to be pretty. We know everything's not going to go according to plan, but we just find a way to make it happen. Whether you know it's weights and training, whether it's running on the football field, or that you know out there playing against Weber State or whoever it may be. Ryan, there there are no jerks on the the Aztecs football team. You have great coaches who hold you to a higher standard, and I think you guys as players within that locker room do a great job of policing yourselves for a new guy coming in, do they quickly realize that, listen, this is the way it's going to go. And if you don't go this way, you're not going to be here. Right. Right. I totally agree with that. And uh, that's kind of how it was for me as a freshman when I came in with my classes, you know, the older guys set the standard. Uh, it's, it's a team before it's me. Um, you worry about the Aztec brother next to you. You don't worry about yourself. And so as you get older, you try to instill that in the guys coming in younger than you. 
and you try to get people to know that, you know, you, you do away with your selfish ways when you walk into a San Diego State program. You buy into the team, you buy into the culture, you buy into the coaching staff, and then ultimately that's going to buy into winning. And, you know, the people that have stayed and the people that have been successful have bought in, and, you know, it's proven year after year. Ryan, who's the scariest dude on your team besides Rocky? <laughs> the scariest <laughs> dude on the team? Yeah. Who should get off the Man. bus first? It, all the guys to me are friendly, all the guys that protect me, but if you want to think of nasty, you kind of go to the O-line and D-line, and those guys, you know, O-line obviously the ones that protect me. So if I had to go the nastiest dude on the team, man, a guy that I'm going to want to go into a fight with, man, it has to be Keith Ishmael. Does he just have like that thousand-yard sniper stare, or maybe sometimes you're just afraid to address him, period? I'll, I'm personally not afraid to address him, but I can see how some people want, want to look him in the eye or you know stare at him for too long, give him a bad look. He, he's someone you don't want to you don't want to get mad. Uh, Aztec starting quarterback Ryan Agnew with us here on extra, of course. Weber State, the first one up here in a mere twas it, Justin. Twenty eight days now, twenty nine days away. Thirty one minus twenty minus two, twenty nine. Okay, we nailed it. Twenty nine days away, as Justin said. Go Aztecs dot com. Uh, tickets still uh, uh, available. Ryan, the wide receiving core, how is the improvement with this group? Um, they've taken it upon themselves to improve every single day. You know, when we got done with the season, they weren't happy with their performances last year. You, you, you could see it how they worked. Um, they came in, you know, when we were asked to come in, and then they put in the extra work after because they know they want to get better. And, you know, with this new offensive scheme, they're going to get more of them on the field, hopefully get them in some more space so they can make more plays. And, um, they're chomping at the bit, they're eager, and they just want to get back out on the field again, you know, kind of prove some of those doubters wrong. Ryan, do you have a uh, super cool way to get around campus? Do you have like a longboard skateboard or like a your super own? cool way? Yeah. Um, no, I never really rode a skateboard, but those birds that are on campus, you know, when you're sore after a workout, you're tired from a long practice, you, you hop on one of those birds and you get there as quick as you can. Do they let you jump on them? I, I, if I'm Rocky Long, I'm telling you guys, listen, walk. I don't want you doing a header off of a scooter. Although I assume you probably put on your wrist guards and your helmet when you jump on the uh, scooter. Oh yeah, correct? I, pretty, I pretty much pull on my full gear. You know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, make sure nothing can happen. But uh, no, nah, you just got you just got to be safe with it. You can't be going and doing off road and trying to do jumps and all that. You just got to be safe. I mean, it, you know, this there are some there are some knuckleheads, but as long as you're safe and you're smart about it, you should be all right. Yeah, we're two of them. You should see us when we're downtown at Petco Park on our <laughs> dude I can do a 180 it's pretty dope yeah Ryan is you know you you mentioned how quickly the time has flown by you are now the starting quarterback it is your your final season at San Diego State is it does it make each practice or each time you step onto the field like this morning that much more special it does uh whenever I walk onto the field this afternoon it's gonna be my last first day of fall camp and you know everyone's kind of you know, somber about it. But as soon as you step on, you can, you know, gather yourself for that one moment. But from there, it's 100 miles an hour, and you can't think about that. Cause if, you know, if you're left looking back in the rear view mirror, then people are going to pass you up. So even though it is my last year, I can't be thinking about that. I got to be thinking about the next practice, the next rep, you know, to the next second, not, you know, not worry about what I can't control. Ryan, any, uh, any fear or any discussion already to not overlook Weber State in front of you uh, with, you know, we, we, we love San Diego loves when you beat a Pac-12 school, right? Well, you have UCLA week two. Any any conversation already as don't overlook this opponent by looking ahead to Chip Kelly's UCLA program. Uh, I think Coach Long does a tremendous job in that fashion. Is we only focus about you know our next opponent, and that's Weber State. We don't talk about UCLA at the moment. When that comes up, we're going to approach it. You know how Coach Long wants to approach it, but for right now, we're focused on Weber State because. You know, any any opponent that's in front of us can beat us. And, you know, it was proven last year in teams that, you know, people thought we should have beaten and we didn't win. So we got to come and focus, you know, from the start, from today, and focus only on Weaver State. And then, you know, once that game happens, then we can focus on the next. All right, that game, August 31st. Should I take the over uh, with 45 pass attempts for you? <laughs> with 45 pass 45 attempts? 45 pass attempts. Just slinging the rock, yeah. man. <laughs> You're going to have to ask that one to Coach Horton. I'm not in control of that. Uh, I do what I'm asked to do. Um, I throw it when I'm supposed to throw it. You know, I hand it off when I'm supposed to hand it off. And, you know, run when I'm asked to run. Ryan, we couldn't be happier for you, man. You, as you mentioned, you bided your time. You are the man now quarterback for what is going to be a great Aztecs football team and a great Aztecs season. 
Enjoy the process. I'm sure we'll be talking to you a lot much more right here on your flagship. Thanks for the time today. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks, Ryan. There's Ryan Agnew, starting quarterback. Senior for the Red and Black. That's right. Oh, man. This will get you ready for football season. Woo!